Welcome to Electra Online. Here we're going to review the ideal gas equation. And actually there's a very simple way of doing that. So first let's introduce it again. Here we have the equation PV equals NRT and that is the ideal gas equation. And we know that P stands for pressure, V for volume, T for temperature, N for the number of moles and R is our gas constant. We're going to assume that the number of moles remains constant. Of course the gas constant is a constant. But there are four situations in which this equation can be used. Either the pressure is kept constant, the volume is kept constant, the temperature is kept constant, or none of the three state variables are kept constant. So now if we face a problem like this, an automobile with a 9 to 1 compression ratio takes an air-fuel mixture at 20 degrees Celsius and compresses it to 20 atmospheres, what is the final temperature? All we have to do is figure out which things are kept constant, which things are not kept constant, and then choose one of the four forms of the equation. Now in this case, we see that the volume is changing, we see that the temperature is changing, and the pressure is changing. So in this case, neither one of the three state variables are remaining constant, which means we need to use this equation where none are constants, which means we move the T over to the left side, P, V, and T are three state variables that can vary, and on the right side we have the number of moles times the gas constant, and that of course is a constant. So since P times V divided by T is constant, we then come up with this equation instead of one of the other three we can end up with. And then we solve this equation, or in another situation would be one of the other three equations. We solve this equation for, in this case, the final temperature, which is what they're looking for, T2, which means we move the T2 over to the numerator on the left side. We move the P1 times V1 to the denominator on the right side, and we move T1 on the left side to the numerator on the right side, and now we have the same equation in the form where we can solve for T2. And the rest is just algebra. All right, and that is how the problem is done. So again, take your ideal gas equation, determine which of the state variables is constant, if any. In our example, none of them were constant, so we take this equation, and we set PV over T equal to P2 V2 over T2, solve for the variable you're looking for, and all you do is plug in the numbers, and that is how it's done.